First and foremost, I want to state that the majority leader has the penchant of attacking the person of the speaker. And he does that all the time. Any opportunity he gets, he picks on the speaker. He did that on the floor. The speaker didn't want to sink into the gutters he plays. And the speaker was very diplomatic. You listen to him in the press conference, and he even said that the speaker doesn't even understand the law. When the speaker was a lawyer practicing, you, Honorable Chairman Sabunsu, you were selling spare parts at magazine. At the time, the speaker was a practicing lawyer. Why? Parliament is the house. This parliament represents all shapes of this country. A committee of parliament is not an authority to itself. A committee of parliament works for and on behalf of plenary. I want to ask you a simple question. The same committee exonerated two members of parliament. The same committee. The same committee exonerated two members of parliament. Now, why is it that when the committee exonerated the two members of parliament, Honorable Chairman Sabunsu didn't argue that the matter be ended there, that the moment the committee exonerated them, they didn't need to come to plenary for the adoption of the report. If he thinks that the committee is an authority to itself, when they were exonerated, they brought the report to plenary, and Honorable Chairman Sabunsu argued in support of the report, exonerating the two members of parliament, and the entire house adopted the report. Now, in one the committee cannot be conclusive in taking a decision except that it comes to plenary. In another breath, the committee has authority to take a decision. Now, any report, any bill or motion in parliament becomes the property of the speaker. The speaker then refers the matter to the appropriate committee. The committee then works and reports to the speaker and plenary. I want to ask you a simple question. If the constitution says that anybody who absents himself for 15 days of sitting should forfeit his seat, why is it that the same constitution goes ahead to say that the, the person, the issue should then be re, re, referred to the appropriate committee? And while the issue is referred to the appropriate committee, the Honorable Chairman Sabonsu is so ignorant of the law, yet he questioned the intelligence of the speaker in understanding the law. Why did the framers of the constitution and the standing order say that the matter be referred to an appropriate committee? The reason why the framers of the constitution and the standing order says that it should be referred to the committee is that the person should be given an opportunity to explain. For example, a member of parliament wakes up in the morning coming to parliament and such a member is kidnapped. Nobody knows where he is. He is not able to come to parliament for three weeks. And after 15 days, the person, the, his captives release him. The person comes to parliament and you say, because you absent yourself for 15 days, your seat be declared vacant. The framers of the constitution were conscious of some of the issues that may arise. And for which reason? They said that it should be referred to the appropriate committee. You demonstrate ignorance of the law, yet you question the ability and the capacity of the speaker to understand the law. At the time when the speaker was practicing, you were selling spare parts at the bus. Uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 Mayanka in Kumasi, where he used to sell the spare parts. Yet he questions the intelligence of the speaker in appreciating the law. We will not allow him to do that. Now, I ask a simple question. If you have a superior case to make in support of the decision taken by the committee, let's debate it on the floor. Look, the NDC has no interest in whatever happens to Ajua Safo. If, if the, the Gombes have a proverb, no You know, there is a, a friend, like a linguist of the chief. When the chief is on his horse, the friend is always in front. So if the horse is kicking at the back, does it concern the, the, the friend of the, of, the, of the chief? So I think that this penchant of picking on the speaker, questioning his intelligence and attacking him, is completely unacceptable, and we will not allow him to go on that route. Okay, now let's speak on the finance minister. Um, according to the majority leader, they met the president, the president says, let him negotiate with the IMF, finish that completion, and then a decision can be made. There's a, there's a gun proverb. I'm not a gun, but...